Hello and welcome to my channel, The Way What Is Truth. Remember to like and to subscribe and to comment down below. Now, I was in two minds as to whether or not to do this video because I'm not feeling very well. I've got the flu, I've got a sore throat. Thank God my nose is not running at the moment, but uh, fingers crossed for that one. Um, I've got some. I've got some tissue on on standby in case that happens. Anyway, but um, yeah, uh, Christians are the most persecuted out of all, all out of all of the faith groups worldwide. It's just a fact. They are. There's a lot of people that disagree with that, but it's just a fact. Christians are the most picked on. They are the most ridiculed. They are the, the most mocked. They are the most insulted, and that goes for Christian YouTubers as well, as, as well. And the vast majority of people who are unbelievers, atheists, and so on and so forth, who leave comments on uh, the videos that Christians do, I've got no intention of listening to your side of the argument or anything. They're just there to point the finger and show that you're wrong and they're right, and they've got no intention of listening to you. Uh, so it's a waste of time engaging with those people. But oftentimes it's difficult to tell the difference between people who um, who perhaps are so somewhat hostile, maybe semi-hostile sometimes, a little bit sort of rude, a little bit cheeky or whatever. But then as you start to talk to them, you find that they're actually willing to listen. It, 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 it's hard because some people that sound very eloquent and very civilised and very friendly are actually the worst ones in the comment section and some of the people that sound rude and sort of loud and, and disrespectful and they insult your intelligence and yet they've got a better heart than some people who sound very eloquent and polite and civilised and, and perhaps they don't insult you or rub you up the wrong way but their hearts and minds aren't as good as some people who have rubbed you up the wrong way. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? You should never judge a book by its cover and that goes for the comment section underneath YouTube videos too but it still stands to reason that the vast majority of unbelievers who leave uh, negative comments and that's what I've had I mean I, I, I did a video to do with atheism recently and I had no choice but to disable the comments because the vast majority of comments that I was getting were people that were just insulting my intelligence but they were trying to mock me um they were ridiculing the bible and they just sort of okay like they, they they made their point but then they kept on making their point as i replied to their comments then they gave another reply and it got more and more intense so i thought come on i mean if, if you're that certain of your world view then you would have no reason to keep on uh to, to keep on reiterating what you've already said and to go even further down the rabbit hole this, this people, you see, the vast majority of people don't know when to let go, and like I've always said, uh, if someone really is that sure and that certain within their own hearts and minds that they're right and you're wrong, they should have no insecurities whatsoever, no chips on their shoulders. In other words, they should be self-assured and confident and at peace with themselves enough to not feel the need to argue with people that have a differing point of view. Does that make sense to you? Because if someone really is that happy as a person and they're that certain that atheism is the way to go, that secularism, for example, is the way to go, humanism, and then they're sure that that way of living and that way of thinking is the right way, Christians are wrong, uh, you know, like religion is outdated and they have a more sophisticated or a better way of looking at the world, a more modern more civilised way of looking at things and they think well okay I mean there's nothing wrong with being religious as long as you don't do any harm to anyone or dictate your beliefs you know they've got that kind of mentality some people that's just one example and some atheists have found and, and 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 some Christians as well some Christians are very condescending very sanctimonious and self-righteous hypocritical it has to be said but the same applies to atheists as well some of them are unbelievably condescending uh, it, it's hard it's tough to deal with the hostile environment that Christians often find themselves in. Thankfully, the vast majority of my videos don't attract negative comments, okay? But people jump to conclusions, they make nonsensical remarks. I mean, I've read, you've got no idea how many comments I've had to delete, how many comments have gone straight to my uh, uh, section, because I've got it on the strictest setting, my comment section. So. A lot of the comments that I get don't actually get published unless I approve of them. 
and you best believe that a lot of those comments I don't approve of <laughs> because I know that it that it would be fruitless to allow them onto my channel. People have accused me of all sorts of things, of being arrogant, ignorant, aloof. Uh, years ago, before I had a YouTube channel, I had one or two people call me a haughty intellectual and all sorts of rubbish. <laughs> you know, uh, it's unbelievable because so many of these atheists uh, accuse Christians of being dogmatic, ignorant, blinkered, narrow-minded. Uh, they think the Bible is ridiculous. <laughs> and yet, them saying those things to Christians, uh, they become the very things that they're accusing Christians of being. Dogmatic, narrow-minded, um, bigoted, self-righteous, hypocritical. They bring up things like the scandals of the Catholic Church. You get the idea. Um, people believe what suits them at the end of the day, man. It doesn't matter what the evidence is. Uh, I myself don't agree with the theory of evolution, for example, and, and I've been picked on and attacked for that. People have insulted my intelligence. They say, you don't know science. Learn science. Learn about evolution. Little do they know that I know the theory of evolution inside and out. I'm no fool. And... Um, it's not that I think the Earth is only six to 10,000 years old or any of that rubbish. No, 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 no. It's the events on the Earth. I do believe in Adam and Eve. Of course I would. Because without Adam and Eve, then the whole story of Jesus and everything would mean nothing. Adam and Eve led up to the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ, right? But um, uh, I believe that mankind has been on this earth for perhaps 10 to 15,000 years or so and before then, although I'm talking about things that are above my head here, because I wasn't there to see it but I do know that at some point before the creation of, of Adam and Eve there were civilizations that belonged to the spirit men of God, the angels of God who look and sound like us but they are in bodies of spirit whilst we are in bodies of flesh and blood uh, and that's what I think um there's a reason why it's written in the Bible that Satan was banished from the fiery stones. And that's an old word for the planets in outer space. Because when you look through, through, through a telescope, uh, they look like fiery stones in the sky. That's why it says, yeah, I, I banished you from the fiery stones, O guardian cherub. Right. Uh, he had civilizations, not only on this earth, but throughout the solar system, as hard as that might be to imagine. But is it really? I mean, we're living in the age of Star Wars, Star Trek, but anyway, this video wasn't supposed to be about that, about esoteric things or, or like pre-Adamic civilizations or anything, but that's just an example of how people can insult the intelligence of Christians, right? And, and it's just never worth it. Almost no arguments lead to anything good. A very small percentage of arguments and so-called conversations actually build up to something good. The vast majority of so-called conversations between unbelievers and believers on the internet just lead to nothing good at all. Just It's just them and they're hell-bent on making their points and proving that you're wrong and they're right, and that's all there is to it. That's not a conversation. That, 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 that's stupidity. That's foolishness. That's them pointing the finger and saying you're 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 an idiot for being a Christian, you're an idiot for not believing in the theory of evolution, uh, you you're just a fool, you know, like uh, get an education or whatever, become an atheist like me, well, hey, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, and it's just unbelievable, it's a mess, it's a mess. Now the vast majority of my videos, I do not disable comments. And I don't disable comments because you're not supposed to do that. But I had to on that video to do with atheism. And I wrote why in the description box underneath that video, right? So perhaps you might want to check that video out. <clears throat> My throat is so sore right now. I hope I sound okay and agreeable to you. I apologise if my voice is irritating. Uh, at least, you know mucus or whatever you call it hasn't started to run down my face or anything because that would have ruined the video completely we're safe on, on that front anyway uh, i don't know what else to say um if people are just arguing for the sake of arguing and they've got no intention of listening to your side of the argument the so-called debate um 
just don't allow a comment. I mean, you know, I, I see some comments sometimes and I just delete them straight away or hide them away to make sure that they can't leave any more comments again. But I don't do that. I do that very rarely, only if I have to. And people don't realise how tough it can be. Or Because although I don't care about people's opinions or comments, it's a water off a duck's back with me. But nonetheless... Over the days, weeks, months and years, and especially when you already have life problems like loneliness, depression or whatever, like the way I've had to struggle with depression and loneliness, of course they don't appreciate it, the people, they, they don't realise it, they don't care, they, they maybe comment on different videos, that's it, you know, they just enjoy the rest of their day. But, but for people like me who are behind the videos, they don't care about the feelings of people like me. Uh, and that negativity, those negative comments build up and it can have a bad effect on you mentally. It can create a sad mood within yourself, within your mind, because it's negativity. Even though you know those comments don't make sense, uh, they're, they're just negative trash. It's just arguing, people insulting you, people calling your video blind or whatever. But it has a negative effect nonetheless. Uh, so we have to know when to draw the line and to pray for our enemies, pray for those who have cursed us. And yeah, YouTube is a mess. It's a messy place for Christians. It has to be said, it really, really is. That doesn't mean to say that atheists don't get picked on, because I'm sure they do. Um, there's plenty of Christians out there who are hypocritical and self-righteous, it has to be said. Uh, there's a lot of Christians out there who don't know how to behave properly. They are not behaving anywhere near like the way Christ would like them to. So we have to pray for those Christians too. We have to pray for the atheists who are in bad situations, who are being attacked. Uh, the world's a mess. Uh, the UK where I'm living is a deeply secular country. It's very hostile to the Bible. You mention the Bible to most people, they will just laugh at you or they don't know what to say because most people haven't been brought up to be Christians in the first place from when they're young, from when they're children. That's where it starts. When a tree grows up crooked, in other words, if a child isn't brought up in the ways of the Lord and the wisdom of the Bible, the tree's going to grow up crooked. And once it grows up crooked, it's very difficult to straighten it once it's fully grown. Right, and that's how it is. So I hope and pray that you're all well. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And let's pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ to be positive and strong in the Lord whilst we're under fire and to be gracious and not to engage with these arguments and now i've mainly been talking about negative comments right uh un that, that are left underneath christian videos but this applies to the workplace it applies in supermarkets it applies if you're on top of the eiffel tower somehow <laughs> it applies to if you're on a desert island and you're stranded and you've been there for 30 years and you wish you had some nail clippers and you miss your family it applies to every and every single situation and circumstance that you could possibly be in because if, if, if we're well i suppose if you're on a desert island you would have to have one or two people who are atheists to fall out with wouldn't you but perhaps in a situation like that uh perhaps you'd learn to get on <laughs> despite your differences so yeah uh we must be as innocent as doves, yet as wise as serpents. So let's pray for this entire generation of people and every generation to come globally who are, who are hostile to the word of God, who are hostile to Christians, who don't like what Christians have got to say. These argumentative people, because if they were that happy and that secure within themselves and they were that sure of their worldview that they were right and you were wrong, then they wouldn't feel the need in the first place to leave that negative comment or to argue with you in the street or to fall out with you in that supermarket or whatever. Anyway, bye-bye and take care.